Hi guys, <coughs> Dan here, sorry. I just got an interesting question from a listener to one of my podcasts. I thought I would ask it here and answer it. So how do I choose if I want to podcast in Swedish or English? Let me give you the background. This is Magic Gathering Strat, my biggest YouTube channel. I still produce between three and five magic videos every week playing Magic the Gathering online. This is how I started exposing myself <laughs> on the web, if you don't count my four novels I've written. But I started on YouTube in January 2013. And of course, I thought English, that's, there's a lot of people who speak English and not a lot of people who speak Swedish. We have about 10, 10 million Swedish speakers, including the Finns who speak Swedish. That's a pretty small language. My books are in Swedish. They don't have, they don't reach too many people because of that. So I figured, of course, it has to be English. And then I started podcasting about late 2013. This uh, used to be my magic podcast, Magic Gathering Strat. I'm no longer doing that. The guys I did it with have started Cubalicious instead. But that was also in English. I did Pop to the People. I appeared on several magic podcasts in English. And then I started Fan of History. I started Fan of History, the podcast, together with uh, Brennan Rankin, who worked with me on Magic Gathering Strat as well. I started Fan of History, the YouTube channel as well, all in English, by the same reasoning that if I do this in English, I will reach more people. But doing 5,000 magic videos, yes, I've done so many magic videos since 2013. I have learned that my English is not as good as I thought, but that my accent is kind of charming and people like it. And that might be a PewDiePie phenomenon because he speaks like I do, uh, being from the same country and all. So, and then it was time to do this podcast, the I Legend of the Ice People or the Saga of the Ice People. This book series is huge in Sweden, Norway, Poland, uh, and other countries, but it's not, it hasn't been successful in English. So here I figured, okay, now I can do a podcast in Swedish. So I tried and I really liked it. It was much easier to express myself in Swedish. Uh, sort of everything came more naturally and stuff. And then I started my biggest podcast in February of uh, this year, 2016 about the murder of Olof Palme. And I will do something in English about this murder under the fan of history umbrella eventually. But of course it was natural to do this in Swedish and talk about the murder of the Swedish prime minister in 1986 in Swedish because most people interested in this extremely interesting case. Look at this, 41 episodes already and we have barely gotten started. But this was the first time I tried doing a Swedish podcast all by myself. I have guests occasionally, but this was pretty easy to produce. I could do what I liked the most, doing research and talking. So when I started the Serie Murder Podden, the serial killer thing, I, it was natural to me to do exactly what I've done in, in Palme Mordet and go for this. This is my new serial killer podcast. Listen to it. Uh, so I decided to go with Swedish and the question I got was why is this in Swedish? Why can't I listen to this in English? And uh, that's, that's the reason I feel more comfortable talking in Swedish. If there would be a really, really big crave for an English serial killer podcast, I could probably do that. But that uh, no more podcasts this year except Fan of Astronomy and Hard Nerd Café at 20% Cooler. My two remaining projects to start in 2016. I'm talking to other podcasters about other podcasts in 2017. I think I can do 10 podcasts if I get enough co-hosts and help from the co-hosts. So uh, that's the reason. That's how, So now my idea is to make the decision every time like is this better to do in Swedish or in English and I don't think I could podcast in another other language that would be sehr schlecht <clears throat> yeah nicht 
podcast in, in Deutsch, bitte. So, that's it. That's how I choose if I use English or Swedish in a podcast. And let me know if you're really interested in one of the subjects on my Swedish podcasts and don't know English. Because almost everyone who knows Swedish knows English as well. Cheers.